guys. So today's video is a makeup tutorial on this look. I think it's perfect for New Year's Eve with the gold glitter and the fun blue eyes. I'm still really sick and actually this video was a hot mess to film. I almost didn't post it because you couldn't really tell because I edited a lot of it out but my nose was constantly running so my foundation kept coming off my nose and my eyes were so red because I'm sick and it was just a hot mess but I decided to post it anyway because I really liked the finished look and I hope you do too. I was supposed to have this look up like a week ago but I got sick Christmas night and I couldn't get it up for you guys so I'm sorry this video is going up so late. New Year's Eve is in like a day so I apologize but I thought better late than never I hope. You can actually pair this look off with a bold lip. I just went for a nudie peach lip because you know me but this would actually look really pretty with really deep red lips so let's get started. First thing I'm going to do is prime my eyes using Jessie's Girl Eyeshadow Primer and I'm applying that to my entire eye area. Then I'm going to go in with Makeup Geek's White Lies and I'm going to apply this underneath my brow bone just to add a base as a highlight. Then I'm going to take a fluffy blending brush and I'm going to take Creme Brulee also by Makeup Geek. I'm using all Makeup Geek eyeshadows in this video. This is a really, really soft, warm eyeshadow. This is perfect for the crease. I'm using this as a transition shade so that all the eyeshadows can blend a lot easier. Then I'm going to take Frappe. It's just like Creme Brulee, only a couple shades darker. Not that much darker, but it's. I'm adding this to my crease again just to add a little bit of dimension between those two eyeshadows. Then I'm going to take this LA Girl Pro Primer in the shade black and I'm going to start applying this to my eye and then I'm going to realize that I forgot to add tape to my eye of course. So I'm just adding a little piece of scotch tape to the corners of my eyes to kind of add like a cat eye effect because once you take that tape off everything looks nice and sharp. So I applied the tape and then I'm just taking this black eyeshadow base and I'm applying it to my entire eye. Then I'm going to take a fluffy brush and I'm going to start blending out the corners of this black base just so that it isn't a harsh line. So I'm just going to take my time and start blending the outer edges of this. Then I'm going to apply some more because a lot of it did get blended away of course and then I'm just going to blend it out some more. Once I pretty much got a nice black base down, I'm going to take this Makeup Geek Foiled Eyeshadow in the shade Center Stage and I'm going to apply this to my entire lid. The black makes it look a little bit more navy than royal so I, that's why I added the black. But this, this eyeshadow is so intense it doesn't really need a base at all. But it is amazing, perfect for New Year's Eve. It's nice, fun, and blue, I love it. Then I'm gonna take Frappe again, and on a fluffy Morphe brush, I'm just gonna start blending out that blue color. I don't want any harsh lines, I want the eyeshadows to blend, like, to blend nicely. So I'm just taking that Frappe color and I'm really, really buffing it out into the crease. Then I'm gonna take Cocoa Bear by Makeup Geek, and on that same brush, I'm gonna add some Cocoa Bear, Cocoa Bear into the crease. And this is just going to warm up the look a little bit more. Then I'm going to apply some more center stage because I did a lot of buffing and a lot of blending. So of course a lot of the blue did get blended away. So I'm just applying some more. I'm going to take Shimma Shimma from Makeup Geek and I'm going to use this as my brow bone highlight. It's very intense which is my favorite, so I'm adding that. Then I'm gonna take this NYX liner. It's a really intense gold liner. It's their Glam Aqua Lux Waterproof Glitter Liner. This is in the shade 24 Karat. So I'm just adding a wing, just like I would do with a black liquid liner, and the tape really helps as a guide to get that perfect kind of like sharp liner look. Then I'm gonna take off the tape, and then I'm going to take some more of that um, creme brulee, that's that first shade we put in the crease. And then I'm just going to further blend everything and make sure there are no harsh lines. 
I'm gonna apply some mascara because I will be going in with falsies because it is New Year's Eve after all. And the falsies I'm using are from House of Lashes in the style Pixie Luxe. So I applied those off camera. My eyes were really red and runny because I'm sick, so it took forever to apply these lashes. I don't know if you can tell on my skin, my skin is red and I, you could just tell I'm sick. So I'm applying my Too Faced Hangover RX primer. This is a really nice moisturizing primer. Do you see the cut on my lip? I busted my lip five minutes before I started filming this video. I swear, it was not my day to film. But I busted my lip on Porter's cage. I bent over and I hit my lip on his cage. I am a hot mess. I don't even know how that happened. But I was bleeding like a mad woman. Anyway, so the foundation I'm using is the Makeup Forever HD foundation. I love this foundation for special occasions like New Year's Eve because it stays on all day and it looks great in pictures and you know, people will be taking pictures on New Year's Eve. So this is the perfect foundation for that. I am in the shade 140. So after that, I'm taking my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. This is another great concealer for special events or when you want to wear your makeup all night because it does not budge and it's full coverage. So I'm applying that with an e.l.f. Flawless Concealer Brush right underneath my eyes and I'm bringing it down a little bit to highlight my face as well. I'm also going to take some of that concealer on the bridge of my nose in between my eyebrows and on my chin area just to highlight those areas of my face as well. And then I'm gonna set everything with my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Natural. This is an e.l.f. blush brush and I am just setting my under eye area with that. I'm also gonna set the rest of my face with this. Well, wherever I put the concealer. Then I'm just gonna finish off my eyes. To highlight in my inner corners, I'm using Shimma Shimma from Makeup Geek and then I'm going to take the Makeup Geek Foiled Eyeshadow in the Sage, in the Sage, in the shade Magic Act. I had to think about it for a second. Magic Act and it's just going to add a gold inner corner highlight. Then I'm going to take my Tarte Gifted Mascara and I'm going to apply mascara to my bottom lashes and that's all I am doing on my lower lash line. I'm not adding any eyeshadow which is rare for me but I thought it looked really pretty to just leave my under eyes bare. To contour, I am using my Charlotte Tilbury Filmstar Bronze and Glow. You obviously can use any bronzer you have or any contour powder. I'm using a Makeup Forever contouring type of brush to apply that. Then I'm going to take my MAC uh, Mineralized Blush in the shade Warm Soul. This is a beautiful, natural, like peachy, warm shade. It goes with pretty much every makeup look ever. It's a perfect like everyday blush. So I'm applying that. It's a nice glowy kind of blush. And then I'm going to take the highlight in the Filmstar Bronze and Glow and apply this to my cheekbones because it is literally the most beautiful highlight I have ever seen in my entire life. I really don't think anything compares to it. It, it has like a beautiful golden sheen. It's amazing. I love it. I'm applying that to the bridge of my nose as well. And then to finish off the look, I am adding a lip liner to my lips. This is the MAC Pro Longwear Lip Liner in the shade, etc. And I'm lightening my lips and then I'm filling my lips in as well. This lasts forever, so this is the perfect kind of lip product for New Year's Eve because it will not budge, it will last all night. Then I'm going to take this CoverGirl lipstick in the shade, what is this called, what is this called? Tempting Toffee, and I'm applying this on top of that lip liner. This is pretty much the same color, just with a little bit more of a sheen. Hi. Okay guys, so that completes this makeup look. I really hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in my next video. Bye.